Hello everyone, and welcome to Wednesday. I just got back from work, and I, uh, I'm kind of tired. I'm, I was thinking about doing some booktube videos tonight. I have a couple reviews I want to film, but I'm kind of tired. And I think there's vlogs I'd rather work on. Right now in the vlog, I'm on the things where I'm uh, making Gisela her book lamp for her birthday, so that's fun. I kind of want to finish those vlogs tonight all the way through her birthday. That would be ideal if I could finish that tonight. But I'm also, like I said, really tired. kind of feel like I need a nap before I go pick up Giselle from work in a little bit. In like three and a half hours, I guess. And also, I got another book package. That's fun. And I got confirmed that Tor is going to send me three more. The publicist just emailed me today. Uh, on my way home, actually. I was at a red light and looked at my email. And lo and behold. But, so, I got a, another book package. I... Yeah, I know what this one is. It's the only one from this publisher. And one of the only ones I requested in this batch that I, I a batch of books that I sent requests out for that is not science fiction or fantasy in some way. So oh wow. Awesome. It's a, I wasn't expecting the hardback, but it's a hardback of Here I Am by Jonathan Saffron Fower. I was expecting like a review copy. But uh, I guess since this just came out, uh came out September 6th, so earlier this month, I guess they decided to send me the, uh, the finished copy, and it's, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Really gorgeous. I'm, uh, really happy to have it. I did, uh, full reviews when I, pretty much when I first started my booktube channel. They were, like, maybe the third and fourth or fourth and fifth reviews I did. I read them back to back. I read Everything is Illuminated and Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. And I actually really like those reviews a lot. I, I feel like I did a good job with those. I did like a, I also watched the movies for both of those. I did book to movie comparisons as well inside the reviews for each of those. And I, I really liked the reviews I did. I, re I liked Everything is Illuminated a lot. I didn't like every, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close very much at all. Uh, but yeah, I, I like a lot of the old reviews I did back then. I think just getting into reviewing, I didn't like have any sort of expectations for myself or anything like that, like I didn't, I didn't have any, like, I've never, I hadn't really done it before, so it was just like a, a new thing, and I was very excited about it, I'm still very excited about it, but I feel like I've kind of solidified what I like doing more now, so that was kind of, it was kind of me just playing around with reviewing back then, and I like those videos, despite the many, many hours it took me to film my old videos, plus edit them, and, which then consequently gave me videos that had tons of edits in them, and oh, like a lot, a lot. Anyway, so I'm going to re read and review this sometime soon. It did just come out. I, I'm, ca I'm sad that I wasn't able to uh, request it and get it before it came out, and read it before it came out and do a review right when it came out, but I think, this is, I, I don't remember exactly when I put this on my review schedule to read and review, but I'm pretty sure it's October. I'm pretty sure sometime in October is when I'm going to be doing this one, so... Awesome. Thanks so much to, who is that? It's FSG. FSG is the publisher. It stands for Fairer, Strauss, and Giro? Girox? Girox? I don't know. No idea. Looks like it's an, an imprint of Macmillan. So, this is a pretty thick book. Definitely bigger than his other two. So, can't wait to give that a shot. I'm not sure how I feel about it. We'll see. I mean, I had pretty a pretty polar opposite uh, opinions of everything is illuminated and extremely loud and incredibly close, so we'll see where this falls. I'm looking forward to it. Super interesting that this self sheet doesn't have anything about the book on it, but I mean, it, I mean, I could just read the uh, inside flap. This this self sheet though is completely filled with just praise for the book slash tour dates. So interesting. But uh, here, I guess I can read a little bit of what this is. In the book of Genesis, when God calls out Abraham before ordering him to sacrifice his son Isaac, Abraham responds, Here I am. Later, when Isaac calls out my father before asking him why there is no animal to slaughter, Abraham responds, Here I am. How do we fulfill our conflicting duties as hus father, husband, and son, wife and mother, child and adult, Jew and American? Anyway, so I'm, I'm going to go do some stuff. I'll see how much I can get done before my eyes start to fall out, and I really need to sit down and actually take a nap, lay down, I guess, and take a nap. Whether that take form of me just, like, crashing on the couch for a little bit, or actually going and laying down in bed, who knows? Because I can do either one, and I tend to do the first first, and then wake up and go lay in bed for a little bit. But 
We'll see. Many hours later. Hi, Giselle. Hi. She's been home from work for a while. Yeah. I fell asleep almost immediately after talking to you guys earlier, so I am now awake. I'm going to eat and work on stuff a little bit. I, I mostly actually just want to read tonight. Well, I'm going to work on some vlogs for a little bit and then and read. So but we're about to do something exciting because Book Outlet has a sale going on right now. I was more... very confused. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Giselle, we're going somewhere. You didn't know, but we're going somewhere. We're doing something really fun and exciting. No, we're, we're ordering books off the internet. That's exciting. <laughs> it's more exciting for me, though, because it's a... Uh, they had like a science fiction sale, so there are several books on there that I wanted. It's not more exciting because I'm going to get Newt's Enrolled by Garth Nix, which I'm very excited about. It, I think it came out last year. It's one of my most like anticipated, anticipated reads, so it's been out for a while and I really, really, really want to read it. Sana did a review of it or just mentioned it in a wrap up. She talked about it and I've wanted it ever since she mentioned it. So it's on there. I'm finally getting it. And I think yeah. that was like a year ago too. So like, mm -hmm. I'm stoked. Yeah. And there are several things on their like list, especially in the science fiction sale that were all on my list for the book barn. Like I literally had them written down on my list to take to the book barn just to see if I could find them. And they were there on book outlet, not at the book barn, but they're at the book outlet. And they're cheap. They're like a couple dollars each. Like I think the most is like two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents. So. Awesome. We're going to place an order at the book outlet. I haven't done that in a long time. I haven't gotten one of those awesome book outlet boxes in a long time. I think what I'm going to do is Hi. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to open the open the box on camera. Ooh, there's me. Oh. I'm going to open the box on camera and try to do like a an unboxing video. So. I think the last time there will be a couple of her books in there, but I'll just ignore those. I think the last time I got. <laughs> so what if I wanted to do an unboxing? Sorry, I'm just <laughs> so I think the last time I did get a book outlet box, I think it was probably two years ago. I think it was before. Yeah. It was before I met you. Or right around then, because I think there was a sale that happened. There was a there was a Boxing Day sale at the end of 2014 I that I bought a big box of books for. I think I bought something off of there at that time, but pretty much it's been about two years. I think the last time I opened one up for my mm -hmm. YouTube channel was... Mm -hmm. October or November of 2014. Yeah, I, did, I opened one in 2014 at the end of 2014. We, we, we had met and we were talking at that point, but I hadn't met her in person or anything yet. So anyway, but that was the last book outlet order I did. So I'm excited to, to get some stuff in book outlet again. I still have one of those $5 coupon bookmark things. I have no idea if it'll work or not, but we'll see. I'm going to try it. I'm using it as a bookmark right now, actually, but we'll see if it's actually usable still. It's getting a little late now. I, uh, I've been reading I'm about 200 pages through the fifth season. Really liking it a lot. Hoping to continue, continue to like it. It's really interesting. I don't know if you've uh, never read fifth season. There's like sections that are written in second person, which I haven't really read that much of. I tried writing a story, the, the book that I was writing before. Big chunks of it were in second person, and I think this, this does it really well. It's really interesting. It's got such a great personality to it, like, the, the person that's saying these things to you, like, the person who seems to be talking, the one who's doing the narrating, to the the character that she's narrating this stuff to, that she's saying you to, that you're doing this, you're doing that, you did this, you did that, whatever. Uh, very interesting, very specific personality, and that character, it's really weird uh, feeling the kind of relationship between how this narrator feels towards this character and thinks about towards this character, like what they think about this character and what they're saying about this character and uh, who she is through the second person against who that person actually is. And it's, it's weird. It's like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the person who she's narrating, narrating about who she's telling things to is is fully understandable like we get a good sense of who she is through her actions and what she does and that kind of thing and what she says but it's uh, it's just really interesting seeing the two things go together and i mean that's that's something i'll probably talk about more in the actual review for these but uh i guess i guess it's something that kind of exists with third person as well that the narrator sometimes does have a very distinctive voice and sometimes it doesn't sometimes it's just 
kind of a background thing. You don't really think about it. I think with the second person, you're kind of forced to think about it more, and uh, it's interesting. But anyway, I oh, I just realized I'm not wearing glasses. I just looked at my glasses there on the table. Sometimes I read without my glasses on, just because, especially late at night, just because I don't know. It just makes my eyes feel a little bit better. I mean, I'm I'm nearsighted, so I use I use glasses for distance, and I mean, I can. There's like something two feet away from me. I can barely read the words, so it's like it's pretty. It, it's not like it's really far distance. I can't see. I can I can't really see that thing. Things that are like right in front of me too, that are like pretty close to me. But like when I'm reading a book, with the pages like right next to me, the book just like right here. It just doesn't doesn't uh, feel that nice to wear glasses sometimes, especially at night. But anyway, it's getting kind of late. I'm gonna go to bed really soon, and uh, I've got some some vlogs exporting right now. I, my, my computer has been really weird, uh, both yesterday and today, and the hard drive was like, I kept disconnecting from the computer, and obviously that's not good, like the, the internal hard drive with all my stuff on it, all the stuff that I've been working on, this hard drive that seemed to be working really nicely for a little while there, for the last couple of weeks, however long it's been since I, I, uh, officially, uh, went ahead and started working on stuff again, it, uh, it's been pretty good, but it's, it's been acting really weird, and so I, I my my laptop has two hard drive ports in it, and so like two SATA ports, and so I will I some I used to have two hard drives in here, two one terabyte hard drives, one in each SATA port, and I it just along the way things happened. Now I only have one <laughs> in there, and one of the uh, the SATA ports just it doesn't seemed to connect very well, and I remember it doing that. I think that's one of the reasons why I took the second one out, is because it just wasn't working, it wasn't connecting well, it kept disconnecting. I was using it as, like, backup storage, and so, like, it kept disconnecting, and sometimes the computer didn't seem to be able to read that it was there, so apparently I had that hard drive, this hard drive plugged into that, that one, that port, and I took it out and plugged it into the other one, and I hope it stays, like, good enough, but right now I'm also backing up stuff. Uh, I'm backing up everything, every all the vlog footage uh, since the last time I did it. Backing up everything I've done <laughs> recently onto an external hard drive just in case. So I'm learning. I'm getting a getting backup set up. Although I need like an official backup. I, I still haven't really. Uh, I haven't reformatted that five terabyte drive, the one that I went all that trouble with getting all our honeymoon stuff off of, and all that. The one I had to buy another enclosure for. I have to reformat that to work with the new enclosure still and then I'm going to use that, probably plug it into my computer and leave it plugged in for the most part, like almost always, and just have it do backups uh, like all the time, like every day. Uh, just keep backing the computer up steadily and stuff so I always have a, a running backup. But anyway, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.